What's going on, Knucklehead? Gcam Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video for you. And finally, I think I might have some good news. Right, so I'll be honest with you, this game has been, it never feels more dead than when a Ghostbusters event comes around. Now, I've been saying that for since the Ghostbusters event came around, right? I have stopped playing Brickspedition altogether, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's usually a bad sign, right? When a content creator says, I stopped playing Brickspedition, that means they're about to stop playing the game. But that's not the case, this is not my hey, I'm quitting the game announcement, because I'm not. Right? It's just Brickspedition is just boring and I'm not getting anything out of it anymore. It's like, I don't even care about Garbodon that much for the one more star to get him. Whatever, I'm sure they'll, they'll put him out somehow. You know, they always do. Uh, but there is some good stuff going on or coming with LEGO Legacy. So, Tiny Trooper Swarm, he popped in the chat today in Discord and laid the smackdown on our boy Jester Gogo -Go and the rest of the crew over in Discord, right? He said, sorry for not being able to talk with you this whole time. We are on the final stages of testing tournaments now. And that's something they've been telling us in the program. Like, we're just like, we really want to get tournaments out and it's a lot of work and we want to make sure they're good. So they kind of went radio silent. I, I get it. I wasn't, you know, I didn't make a rant video about how pissed off I was about it. I just, I, you know, I got it. Right. We're also working on new heroes. We already know there's the two new Lacoys coming out for the Imperial faction. Right. So new heroes and a rebalance of the Imperial faction. Now, I can't say anything, but because nothing is set in stone with the reworks for Imperials, but we have been discussing and looking over some stuff in the content creator program. So I think we're having a little bit of a hand, giving some feedback, and hopefully they take our feedback on what Imperials really need. And we all know it's it's a new set or a, a rework of the Eldorado Fortress. And they are working on a new campaign chapter. So I'm assuming it's just one chapter, maybe a monolith, maybe a, maybe a Pip Town, maybe a, what, what's the other one? I don't even remember the other one, right? It's been a Glyph Hunt. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe a new chapter for each of those. I'm gonna say, let's curb, our, curb your expectations. Right, curb your new chapters, it's probably gonna be a new chapter for just one of those. If I had a guess, I would say maybe Monolith, because there's no restrictions. I feel like if you're gonna do a new Pip Town, you gotta do a new Glyph Hunt with it too, or maybe it'll be a new Glyph Hunt and a new Pip Town will come next. I don't really know. Uh, new events and lots, lots more that we will officially announce after tournaments will be finally released. So, I mean, hey, lots more could be some really good things. Right, I don't want to speculate too much, but it is good news. A new campaign chapter. Campaign chapters are pretty fun, and they offer us an opportunity to farm things that we haven't been able to farm before, potentially. I like the Imperial rework and the two new Imperial minifigures. I can already tell you this, I'm not gonna go ham on Imperials. Uh, I just went ham on collectibles, and I think collectibles are the it, and I think they're gonna stay the it. Uh, for a while. I think Imperials will be a cool little faction. They'll definitely be better and more usable, but they're not going to be. I don't think they're going to be nearly as good as the costume and collectible faction, but I could be wrong. They could be wrong with the collectible faction. But they also laid into us with some other news. Also, I'm not allowed to talk about it in details about some faction big feature that was promised a long time ago by the prophets of the ancients. So gotta go now. So let's let's uh let's unpack Tiny Troopers English here for a second. I'm not allowed to talk about in detail about some faction big feature that was promised a long time ago. So they're talking about a feature in the game. That is, I guess, faction specific. I'm thinking they're talking about raids, right? So maybe, maybe in the next update, they're gonna, or maybe in the next announcement, they're gonna announce when raids are coming. Maybe it's not in the next update. Maybe it's in two updates down the line. But at least if they come out and say, hey, not this update, next update, raids, it's giving us a little bit more to look forward to, right? A new campaign chapter. So, you know, it looks like maybe we're getting out of the dark times, but there is definitely some criticism to be said about the last update, 
right? Without tournaments, it really was, it was a fun couple weeks, right? When we had the collection journey going on, that was a fun couple weeks, right? I wish it was paired with an all-star event, but it wasn't. You know, the Primo, the master event nodes, it's just something that like, it, it shouldn't be a, a focal point, right? So then we got those and that was like, this is your new content. Couple master event nodes. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so I mean, I, I want an update that's gonna give me more to do in my everyday life of a LEGO Legacy player, right? I spend hours every day playing League of Legends Wild Rift. I spend hour every day playing LEGO Legacy. And that's if there's a really cool time quest and I'm really going for a lot of arena battles. Tournaments will be nice. It's a nice little game feature and I think it's gonna be fun. It's 50 battles that you can do over a weekend, but it's just over a weekend, right? I think raids is a big thing that they need uh, and a Brickspedition rework is something that I would really like to see. I think when we get that Brickspedition rework with raids, this game might actually be kind of fun to play every day for a little bit, right? I don't think you're, you're never gonna get that League of Legends feel where it's like, I can just sit here and play for hours because you're not allowed to play the game for hours, right? If I could sit in arena and play for hours, sure. Maybe with tournaments, I'm gonna be able to, hey, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna play LEGO Legacy for a couple hours, right? I'm gonna bang out 50 battles right here where there's no timer in between. But there's also the downside that you're gonna be seeing a lot of the same until tournaments become faction specific, right? And I said that when they first announced tournaments and they, they acknowledged it, until tournaments are faction specific, like you can only use two or three tags this, this week's tournament, right? Keep it thematic or something. Or you can only use certain figures, right? In this week's tournament. Like, oh, the, you know, it's uh, breast cancer aware, uh, awareness month or, you know, women's month. You can only use the female figures or something like that. Or, I don't know, uh, public worker appreciation. You can only use role models. Right? Oh, cool. Uh, role models. Who's got that team? I do. I got it. You'll see me rocking that tournament. Right? So that'll be something to make it a little more fun. Maybe have two tournaments every week. A completely open tournament and then a, what you call it, a tag specific tournament. These are just things that I think can be easy fixes to help move the game forward. But it does look like we're, you know, we're not at the end of the tunnel yet, but we can maybe see a little sliver of light. Today was also a big day for GKM The Band. Dropped a new single, which you will see is the ending song for this video. If you like that, check it out in uh, the description. I'll link the Spotify link to that below. If you dig the tune, you know we really do that stuff here. Well, that's pretty much all I got for your day, Knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, Ding that little bell for some notifications. And as always, remember to knuckle up. Far, far, I'm telling you we got this far. Cause the will of fire.